Hey guys, Hydroxide here, and welcome to another episode of Off the Runway, where we look at the true endgame that is Fashion Frame, and this week we are getting down to monkey business, because we're looking at Wukong. Now you're probably seeing this and thinking, gameplay? This usually happens when he has an announcement or something to talk about, and it's true. We reached 3,000 subscribers a month ago, exactly, well, from the date of recording this audio, which is the 7th of September, um, we reached 2,000, so in a month we've gained 1,000 subscribers, which is a huge, huge feat. So I thank you so much for all who are joined, no matter if you're the 3,000 subscriber or if you're the first 20. All, all are welcome. Um, so, as a kind of special gift, um, I have 675 Platinum Codes to give away, available on PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Obviously, if you're the consoles, I will do, get talking to Drew, and we'll do on the back end on their system, but a PC, I can give you the code straight away. I'm not doing the old work comment down below. I have a link in the description to a gleam.io actual giveaway page. So all you need to do is make sure you're a subscriber and click enter. All the details will be there from your YouTube name and I will contact you afterwards to say who are the winners are. But besides that, you should enter. Um, also, when I'm talking down below on my social media, I have my Twitch there, but sometimes I do um, periscopes at night, kind of like just late night discussions. Um, because on this channel it's obviously fashion frame which is more instructional videos, but in my periscope you kind of just chat for a while um, late at night. Um, that's why it's called my Warframe PJ party, so if you ever come you can always have a chat, it's quite cool. Um, but apart from that, we might have some videos coming up on Wednesdays. Um, you probably would have seen last week that they were talking about that the Syndicate weapons are coming out. This stuff will spark the new little mini-series about Syndicate fashion frames. So we'll be lo talking about the different frames in each of those Syndicates that the mods are available to. We kind of see that they represent those Syndicates. So those Syndicates will have fashion frame for those Warframes. So for example, New Luka might have Chroma if Chroma is available in the mod section. And since we have those weapon schemes now, we can actually have tailored looks for each of the weapons and we'll use those color schemes available in those weapons to color the fashion frame. And I'm probably rambling on, so once again, thank you so much for joining and here's to the channel growing even more in the future. Now let's get on with our looks. So as always, we're starting off with my monkey here now. So for this one, I'm going for these kind of blue colors and the kind of off blacks for the main body. But for attachments, you see I've got the Rivalite and I have the Asa sign down in the back because I think it ties in very well with the energy streams that come out of the ears or the ponytails. And now our first monkey inspired look. This is the dry ass monkey. So as you can see, reason is kind of black, white and orange energy color things. But for the attachments, you see that we have the Vakor sign down on the back and then the Daedalus armor all around. And now our next look is inspired by the Golden Lion Tamarind. So these little squeaky things are just a nice orange with a kind of pale pinky purple skin. So I'm using that here. For attachments, you see that we are using the Halt on the arms, the Edo everywhere else, and then we have the Yoma sign down on the back. And now our next look, this is the golden snub nosed monkey and you see it's a little cute little thing, little furry kind of creamy white colors and then it's got like a kind of, it's like a bluey gray skin tone and that's what I'm trying to use here. For attachments you see the Yamako sign Dana and then everywhere else is the EOS Prime Armor. And now this monkey is called the Guanan monkey and I'm probably butchering that with my accent. Um, but for attachments we have the Edo, we have the Prism Edo on the legs but Edo is on the chest and the arms and then on the back we have the Oro sign Dana. And now the macaque monkey is next, in particular the Japanese macaque. And with the dashing helmet, it honestly looks like a penis. Um, but for the attachments, you see the Acanthus Prime armor set, which you get from the Prime Access pack currently available in Necos Prime. And then with the Imperator signed down on the back. And now the next one's a real looker. This is the proboscis monkey, and proboscis being nose or kind of needle-like protrusion. But in this case, it's a big, giant, swollen potato of a nose. Um, but you see in the attachments-wise, we have the porta armor all around, and we have the heart corner on the back. And next we have the Sphinx Mandrill, which is a type of baboon, um, but still in the you know, ape monkey family, so that's what we're going with. Um, but for attachments, we see we have the Edo all around except the chest, which is from the Hulta armor set. And then in the back, we have the Jatak Mantle, which is a Tenogen item. And our last monkey is the Wolf Mona monkey. So this is a beautiful, beautiful kind of blues, orange, whites um, in this color scheme. Uh, but in the attachments, we have the Dendra armor all around. We have the Iliac on the chest, and then we have the Chiroptera signed down on the back. 
As always, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And we have all the social media down below in the description and the link to that new 75 Platinum giveaway. We have six codes available, so make sure you get in on that action. There's only for subscribers, so there's no reason really to not do it. So, as always, take care, and I'll see you next time.